gamers? I'm Jason and today on Dice and Dragons I'm going to be unboxing Skull Tales Full Sail published by Eclipse Editorial and designed by David Iesquez. Now I hope I pronounced that properly. My Spanish is only just okay. If you so happen to watch the video, David, please let me know down below in the video description how to say it properly, as we do intend to do a review of the game in the future. Now, what is Skull Tales? Well, it is a dungeon crawl adventure game. It also has a, some sea voyage elements. And of course, you get to sell your booty in town. So each chapter is divided up into three different phases, the adventure phase, the voyage phase, and at the end, selling your booty, hiring new crew, and basically just managing everything that you got from the chapter. Now during the adventure phase, it's more of a traditional dungeon crawler. Now when you're at sea, you might have to fight, fight off mutineers because you know, everyone wants to be a ca the captain. That's the semi-corporate development. Also there's the British sea monsters and everyone just trying to ruin a pirate's fun. Now, let's take a look at what's inside the box. We got the Kickstarter version of the game. I'll also be unboxing some of the add-ons. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up the C miniatures add-on, but maybe getting that in the future. Keep it right here. I'll be swinging back at you in swashbuckling style to take a look at what's in the box. Now, let's take a look at what's in the box for Skull Tales Full Sail. Pirate game. Not quite sure why I backed this, but... Uh, do like co-op campaign games, so hopefully this is going to be ex exactly what I was hoping for. So we get the campaign book, Shadows of the Caribbean. So it looks like we've got all the setup, everything we need for the different adventures. And it's pretty cool. What I'll do is I'll just slide the box over here, make sure everything stays on camera. Take a look at this bit by bit. Here we've got the rule book. It's a fairly big rule book. I do like the layout. We've got fair bit of content to it. Yeah, this is uh, definitely a much larger rule book than uh, I typically like to see for a campaign game, but there seems to be a lot of different stuff with regards to the ships, things like that. It's about a 50 page rule book. There is a nice index on the back, unfortunately no cheat sheet. So you'll find out more about what we think about this when we get to our review of the game. Here I'm not going to take these out, we've got some tokens, looks to be some, uh, not tokens, components in order to assemble uh, certain pieces, so I'll just put that off camera, not, in, not that interesting. We've got a character sheet right here where we can keep track of our character as they level up. Also it's got a backside as well. On the backside it appears to be some information about uh, their ship, so we'll just place that over here. Next we have what looks to be the ship cards. So let's see what we've got here. Now here we've got some monsters and ships. So it looks like we've got a little bit of both with different monsters, ships and events on the back. We've got some nice quick reference cards. So we do actually get the reference sheets. They're just not on the rule book. So we've got enough for how many players? One, two, three, four, five. So enough for five players. Then it also looks like once again, some more reference sheets for the different things for all five players. So we'll take that and place it right over here. And here of course we have what looks to be the character sheets and possibly, I'm just gonna, rip this. It's not going back uh, in these things. Get rid of those. Here we've got the different characters. Pretty cool. Voodoo Shaman, Sea Dog, Lookout, a Witch. I think I know what character Julie's going to play. Uh, my stepbrother might play the Cook, Cabin Boy, Captain's Daughter. I don't know, that just got my attention with all of the chains. The Freedman, the Avenger, of course, the Black Pirate Roberts, actually. Then we've got some more monsters on the back. We've got, of course, so two different types of monsters, event, ships. Overall, cool stuff. Just place that over here. And then on the back of the character sheet, seems we've got like all of their stats. 
whereas this side is more just about the character and their special abilities. So I'll take that, stack all this stuff up right here. So we got some of the Kickstarter upgraded components here with the plastic coins. I won't take all of them out, but looks like we've got gold, copper, and silver. So good quality. Like the look and feel of these coins so far. Anything that's in a plastic bag, I'm just gonna put off camera so it doesn't look as messy. Here we've got just some D6s, black and red. Now, it's a little bit of a shame they don't have proprietary dice. I always like to look at proprietary dice, but the nice thing is with D6s, you lose them. You don't have to worry too much about replacing them. Here we have some gems. So it's gonna probably be some rewards that we get during the campaign. So a bunch of different colored gems, rubies, emeralds, amethysts. Not sure what the yellow one would be. I'm thinking amber, but that's just because I watched Jurassic uh, Park not that long ago. So do like the, the plastic components. And one thing I always love, extra plastic bags to package and sort everything. So that's definitely gonna come in handy. Here we got the cards. And while well, they got the release tape on it, uh, it was not that clear where to find it. So let's get this opened up. See what we got inside. So, sales, runaway slaves. So these look to be a whole slew of different event cards. So I'm not sure what all the cards are, but we get a large stack of them. So, seems to be, yeah. This looks to be about like different personalities and things like that that you can get. More events that occur. Some stuff that appears to happen at sea. So this may be like sales, slaves, not sure what type of events maybe has to do with stores the stores and things like that. All this stuff here looks to be like these sea events. So we'll take these cards and put them right here. Yeah, so it does look like some of these events have to do with the symbols. So I remember seeing the tavern. So we have different tavern events, chapel. Not sure what these ones were. They look romantic with the, the kiss symbol on the flag. Anchors, yeah. So all different story events that can show up in the game. Stack these two things next to each other. Ah, it's disappearing off camera. So I'll just stack that stuff on top of the rule book for now. Oh, one card's trying to get away. So in this box here, I'm guessing we've got the miniatures. I'm just gonna set this aside for right now. Here we've got some of the smaller cards which look to be more like uh, equipment decks. Harpoons, bandoliers. Yeah, so this is all a whole slew of different equipment cards. Some looks to be single use items that you can buy, maybe even character items, weapons. So everything you're gonna need to be a successful pirate at the high seas. I said at the high seas, I should have said on the high seas. Don't know what I was thinking there. And this looks to potentially be a skill deck by judging from the back of the card. Well, we didn't look at the back of these cards, so they're all the same. Well, not all of them. These may be adventure reward cards by the symbol here. And all the rest of them on the back here are the same symbols, so equipment cards. All these ones have just the back related to whatever event uh, they are tied to. I should have shown those earlier, sorry about that. So here we've got, like I said, the character skill cards. Then it looks to be some more treasure or adventure related cards that you're gonna be drawing from. Here, the back of these ones look to be different wounds that are gonna be in the game. So there's a whole slew of them and then as we said, some of the different skill cards and abilities. Looks to be primarily for the Shaman and the Witch. So we'll take those and place them right here. So we've got 
And I must admit the fact that everything's not popping out all over the place. Really do like the fact we've got some tokens. Definitely good quality on the cardboard. Not sure why we have these as well as miniatures, as these look almost like character standees. Just place those off camera quickly. So here we've got, and I don't mind punching one of these, or it looks like I'm almost punching two here. They're a little bit uh, stuck together. So I'll put this back down. Let's just punch it. So, not sure why they didn't actually just make these the size of the tile. Probably just has to do with the other cardboard that was being printed, but here we get some of the different map tiles. So we get the inland stuff here for the scenarios and then the sea on the back. And also then we get a total of one. Yeah, they're all a little stuck together. So here we've got some of the components we're gonna be needing to assemble some more tokens. Just set those aside. And once again, we get some of the smaller rooms. Looks a little bit more difficult to get out. So we've got four of the large tokens. Well, two, well, tokens for the large rooms. Let's just flip this over. See what else we got in here. For the smaller rooms, we got a total of one, two. We got the ship locations here. More tokens. Another set of tokens. So, oh, maybe this is the tracking map for treasure. And then sets of rooms. Not sure why everything's out of order, but we're really getting, as you can see, a fair bit of different content for the scenarios. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the token stuff aside. Let's put all of these room-related content back into the box. Well, room or map. And we'll take a little closer look at the other stuff that we've got here. So clearly this is the ship and looks to be the adventure map. So you can see the different locations that correspond to the different events. Very cool. A few different dials and tokens and components we're going to have to assemble together. So this looks to be for the, the story aspect of the game. I haven't actually taken a look at the rule book yet. More components that we've got here. Largely it looks to be very similar to what we have right here. Actually it's... Uh, Almost identical, if not identical. I'm pretty sure it is, actually. And here we've got one of the other maps. Oh, I put it upside down. So map the treasure and some more of the ship locations. Put back the other two sheets that we took a look at. And lastly, we need to take a look at the miniatures. And everything here is all taped up. I'm not sure how much I like that makes doing the unboxing just a little bit more difficult than I would like. So, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm going to take a quick cut. I'm gonna come right back at you and we'll take a look at the miniatures. I'm back with the miniatures. I've unsealed the box and I gotta say, I'm definitely like super disappointed. It's nice to have the, the foam, but this is just incredibly cheap. A bunch of the stuff has fallen over. And we'll talk about the quality of the miniatures in a second, but as you can see, I'm in the process now of just trying to get everything reorganized because, yeah, that all just kind of fell all over the place. So not quite, sh I'll probably be keeping this box to store the minis, just most likely won't be storing them in necessarily in this thing specifically. So we've got, yeah, as you can see, look at that. It's definitely a little bit of a mess. So you know what? I'll deal with this another time. But this gets a huge zero for me. Far too cheap in terms of packaging to be actually useful in the long term. We'll see if I can get everything back in. But let's take a look at the miniatures. The lighter ones are our heroes. And definitely like the quality that we have on the minis, so you can see with the skeleton. So I'm not gonna take a look at all of the different characters, but very cool. Let's see if we can find one of our female characters here. So there's our witch, plenty of detail. You could definitely paint them. I do like the look of the monsters. This crab monster here looks very cool. Enemy pirates, love seeing, well, not pirates. Looks to be the British, the red coats with the guns. Guns is a little warped, but still, very good. We've got some 
zombies, some more sea monsters. So overall, definitely like the miniatures, just some, uh, that's more Britons. Just don't really like the packaging and who doesn't love apes with weapons? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to just box this back up. I will probably organize this stuff in some plastic bags, maybe use some other foam that I have to keep it all separate and protected. For the moment, we'll get the card packs back in the box here. Oh, these were actually sitting like this. Got the books. And yes, I realized I didn't put the foam back in for the minis, but don't worry, I'm gonna start sorting a lot of that stuff in the near future. We'll place the dice and the coins back in here. Right now, don't forget the bags and everything I'm gonna need to assemble a lot of the components. So as you can see, everything still fits very well. And that's what we have in the box for Skull Tales Full Sail. We've taken a look at the core game. So now we're gonna take a look at the expansion that came with the Kickstarter. Keep it right here. We'll, we will be back shortly. Now let's take a look at Skull Tales Full Sail, the Mega Ick expansion. So we'll get into the box and see what we get. We've got a nice, big, thick campaign book, which as you can see is giving us The Devil's Cauldron, Tachana's Anger, Vane's Curse, and The Story Weaver. So we've got a whole lot more story content for the game, which is very cool. Happy to get all of these extra adventures. We're also getting some cool new characters. Don't worry, I'll, I've got something to unseal the miniatures box with me this time. Just get rid of that. So what do we have here? You've got the Far Eastern Spy, Joker, that's totally Johnny Depp, Native Scout, Alchemist. Not sure that character's from, like, but it reminds me of a character from some, some show, maybe even an anime, but I really do like the look. Swordsman, Anigo Mantoya, we've got the other guy in here, so of course we got him. Here we've got some more human villains in the Amazons, ghosts, mermaid, that, that's not a pretty mermaid, but uh, eh, well, motivation to stay away from them. Spiders, hate them, bounty hunters, drowned ones, stranglers, and then we look on the back, of course, we've got some more sea monsters, a megalodon, pirate ship, sea serpent, and then some of them just are double-sided. So it looks like we've got on the double side is some of the boss characters that we're gonna be fighting throughout the course of the campaign. So put these down over here. Now we've got the different components. So we're getting some more of what looks to be like search tokens. And then everything is really much more smaller rooms this time. We do get, let's place these down over here. We do get two larger tiles, but really nothing with regards to the C. That all seems to be contained in the base game. Now we've got a nice box of miniatures here. So we'll start first by taking a look at the cards. So in the cards, what do we get? We get some new wounds, some new adventure cards, some new equipment, and some special ability cards for the alchemist. I'd love to go through them, but I don't really know what they do. So far, everything seems very thematic to a pirate campaign and always happy to have some more content. When I do store everything, I'm gonna probably put all of this stuff together and split it up between the, uh, the two boxes. Might actually try to get all the minis in plastic bags in one box uh, with foam. Maybe, as I said, use foam from other boxes in the game. So here we've got, not sure what these cards specifically are. So it looks to be like we got some new event cards and I haven't seen these pirate cards before. It looks to be maybe like some upgrades or special things for the characters. So it's all the characters from the original game 
including the expansion characters and then some new sea events and some new pirate attacks. I'm just going to the pirate attacks. I've got the pirate symbol, so best that I can do right now. So that looks definitely pretty cool. I'll leave those cards here because it looks to be like most of the contents here in the miniature box. And don't worry, this time I come equipped. Don't want to damage the cardboard. And ripping the tape would just make things messy. And of course I cut only part of the tape. I thought I got this other part here, not to worry. It's not the easiest thing to cut when you are on camera. <laughs> so let's take a quick look at the minis. We've got the same packaging, but looks to be a little bit more stable this time. Stuff still does definitely fall over. So here we've got more of the villains. We've got the nice shamblers. Once again, minis are very detailed. No complaints about the miniatures at all. Love the look of the Amazons. If I could do painting, I'd probably paint them. I do like is that a lot of these minis you could probably use in just about uh, any game. So that's always a plus in my book. Let's take a look at some of the heroes. And yeah, once again, the stuff just gets caught too easily and pops right out. It's going to be way too annoying to store everything with this, so bye-bye to the paper, and we'll figure out a much better storage solution. So here we've got our swordsman. We've got Joker, our Johnny Depp type character, the native scout. Oh wait, sorry. This is the Alchemist, and this is Joker, the Johnny Depp type character. We've got our Far East Scout, who just looks absolutely awesome. As much as I hate spiders, I do get a kick out of the miniature, and I do like the detail. The eyes are very creepy, very thematic for something you'd see in pirate times and dealing with the natives. The drown ones have a lot of detail, so overall, very happy with the quality of the miniatures. Everything feels fairly solid. I'm just wondering why they packaged things the way they did. We have some of the, the ghosts. And here are the mermaids who don't love as much because of the way they have to do their tails, but they look more like nagas than mermaids, but still overall pretty cool. So that's what you get in the mega expansion. So I'm gonna put all the stuff that we've got in here back. Now I was thinking about taking a quick cut, but as this unboxing was only a few minutes, we're gonna pull onto screen some of the other stuff that came with Skull Tales for the Kickstarter expansion. Place these back in, get this in there. I can just sit on the top. So there you have it. This is what we have in the mega expansion. And you know what? I was gonna just put the other stuff on camera, but for those of you watching this in chunks, I just realized, much easier if I take a quick cut right here and come back at you with some of the other expansion component that came with the Kickstarter. We'll be right back. Now I'm gonna take a look at the last of the components that came with my Kickstarter copy of Skull Tales Full Sail. Now I do have two copies of the twins. I don't know if I was supposed to get that. It might have been a mistake in my order. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a look and don't worry, I'll give you guys the information in the outro but let's see what we have in the box so we get the twin characters twin sister twin brother we get the miniatures and the cards to go along with them so i'm thinking there might have been an error or i double paid for the add-on well that was just silly of me but we get some new equipment probably the starting equipment for them, and then their character ability cards. Once again, not sure what those are. Really not loving the packaging for this expansion. Uh, once again, with a few, as with some of the other stuff in the game, uh, certain things are very much done on the cheap side. So, so I don't want to damage anything in here. I'm just going to be taking this stuff away as I unbox it. 
Next, we got some components that I believe we're missing potentially from the basing. It looks to be the stuff that we need to close up, seal up the, uh, the dials and things like that. So this was included separately in the box. Now we'll take a look at the Dynamic Duo and I'm open it upside down. So we got the bodyguard and the musician. Definitely seems a little uh, Game of Thrones inspired there. Looks a lot like Tyrion, so. Pretty cool, like the look. Once again, we've got the cards to go with these characters, and they're just a little all over the place. We'll take a quick look at the miniatures. Definitely like the look of the bodyguard and the musician. I could definitely, I can see myself playing the musician. Seems like he'd be right up my alley. Gotta check his abilities though. So, take that out of here. Once again, we've got the twins. So I think this is my double copy, and yeah. Same thing, so I must have got double, or this was included in my pledge and I ordered one by mistake. So, let's move that off camera here. And then lastly, this box actually isn't labeled, but looks to be some more of the stretch goals. We've got the Noble Rebel, and you'll notice the way it was packaged, edges of the cars are already damaged. We've got the Scorpion, Giant Scorpion, Boss Scorpion. Then we've got a War Dog, so, and a Giant Scorpion, so we get an ally, pretty cool. Got a nice little bag, which I think has got a first player token in it. So yeah, we get a metal first player token. Do you like the nice little bag? We have the miniatures. Overall, like everything else, good quality. But uh, I don't have the giant scorpion. Do not see that miniature anywhere. So we've got the noble rebel for war dog. No scorpion miniature to be had. Maybe it was in one of the other boxes and I just didn't notice it. I will once again follow up on that with you guys during the outro. So, we've taken a look at just about everything. I know it's green and blank here, don't worry, I'm bringing something on camera. Now we did get this and I gotta say straight up, this level of packaging, I mean, this is a sheet for storing something in a binder is just straight up unacceptable. Put it in a goddamn box. Excuse the language there. But we've got just some of the cardboard packaging that you can build for some of the different boxes that you're going to be needing in the game. Like treasure box here. The Kickstarter exclusive card boxes to help you organize all your different stuff. So that all came in. And that terrible packaging and yeah very disappointed well there you have it though you've taken a look at everything that came with the kickstarter for skull tales full sale i'll follow up with you guys on the scorpion as well as if i ended up getting a double of the twin characters keep it right here we'll, i'll be back with the outro thank you very much for watching everyone if you like what you saw don't forget to click the like button, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so that YouTube will let you know when we have some new content coming out. Also, down below in the video description, take a look at our social media feeds, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram. We're definitely putting a more concerted effort to get some content out there. You may even see some pictures of us playing Skull Tales when we finally get ready to do our review of the game. You'll also be seeing links popping up right in front about now or shortly to other videos that we have done, some more unboxings, some more dungeon crawls. Who knows, it's the algorithm that decides sometimes. And don't forget, keep playing games.